with this game, it's like you make a hit, bro, you got to make another one. And you make that one, you got to make another one. That's and that's crazy. just what it is. So to be 1,000, like, yeah, I feel the pressure. But at the same time, it's like, bro, I it, I think it's more about, like, what was behind that song versus, mm. like, what's a hit song and what's not. That song, I made that song in 2016, yeah. right? It's 2023. I'm going 100 times harder than that. I promise you, I'm going 100 times harder. I but believe you. How can you match the energy sometimes with like, bro, I pushed that song for three years, mm. then did that, pushed it again all through that, you feel me, for another year and a half type. So it's like matching that. That's really kind of more what I'm trying to figure out like with it. It is like, how can I put that amount of effort, but mm. not in that amount of time? <laughs> Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like, every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. You um, you about to drop something. Oh, you yeah. already dropped. No, I'm about to drop uh, a song at 12 a.m. like tomorrow, you feel me? Uh, okay. It's called Doing It, featuring my dog, Trap Baby Magic. You it's said produced who? by my brother. It's called Doing no, It, No, who is it featuring? Um, his name, Trap Baby Magic. Okay, I thought you said Trap Back. I'm like, damn, what? I was not expecting that. But oh, yeah, no, no, no. But I know, bro, though. But, I was about um, to say, I was not expecting that. That was crazy, but okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, You dropping tonight. Uh, How long you been promoting this? Um, We've been promoted by, what, about a month, maybe. Okay, because I it's seen- It's going to be on a project that's going to drop in June called okay. Believe 2. That's what I was thinking about, that's the project. That's what I've been. Um, okay, because I seen you talking, talking to some white boys, y'all was talking about that Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, For sure, yeah. I with them, man. Don't they shoot with the iPhone or something? Do with them, yeah. They, they shoot with an iPhone. I don't iPhone. think they shot my. Shit in no I seen they got a new set. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Nah, yeah. Last time I heard, they do our iPhones. The uh, the niggas that did Beja. That shit look good for the iPhones though. I ain't gonna cap you. I don't think my shit was on no iPhone. Okay, cause I, I would have been like, damn, nigga, that's an it iPhone. look. Like, it's cool though. Like that's, I'm like that's, I, that's I'm shooting with videos with iPhones right now. Cole Bennett shot a video with my, the oh, whole video though. on an iPhone. He's yeah, but he though. go crazy. Yeah, but sick, still, though, he did he's that shit. <laughs> he did it on an iPhone, though. Facts. Let's get it popping. We good? Yo, what's popping? You know what time it is? Your boy J Hill. It's the J Hill Podcast. We're in the building. Our special guest, you know, listen, for the people that support me from day one, y'all know I got stories about everybody. This guy, let me tell you about this guy. I met this guy like not too long ago, maybe a year ago. He gave me his number. I'm going to ask him. Hold up. Let me see. Let's see. Is this your number right here? I ain't gonna say it on the camera. I ain't gonna say it. <laughs> this probably like, what the f I get myself into? Is this your number? Is this the right number, first of all? Um, yeah, that's my number. That's my number for sure. I ain't Where never played with these, did I? <laughs> what we was. Man, you one of them ones I be talking about. Let me what? tell you. What happened? Money moves in the building. So, I, I don't know where I met you at, right? I got you, and I'm like, I'm trying to do the podcast. I think hitting it was probably, I don't know if it was, it might have been like at the peak or like coming down maybe, mm-hmm. right? You like, yeah, let's do it. I text you like a hundred times. No. I text you like a hundred times. No. Listen, I got your you number. I got, to, the, I got the proof. I ain't gonna cap. I should have. You should have gave it to him. him. You should have yeah, gave because it. I got down. I really, boy, it ain't nothing personal. You it's feel cool. Me? Hey, like, no, but, we here. Is this all yeah, fun? Nah, I wouldn't have. Yeah, no, damn, wanna, though, yeah, bro. Yeah. I, bro, I ain't need. I'm like, damn, I just like, what's up, bro? Good to meet you. We done met. So, so, okay, cool. So, I think this is a great experience for both of us. Tell me what's going in through, through your mind when it's like, you just, all right, bet, cool, get my number. Like, because in my mind, I'm taking the person, I'm being real. Man, he's playing with me. What's going through your mind? Just curious. Um, For me, it's just like, I'm taking it serious. I give you my real number to really hit me because I don't want to, I don't count nobody out. You right, feel no, me? no like, kind of facts. Yeah. And I probably, if I ain't hit you back, it's probably just because I didn't even, bro, I'm not 
I don't even be looking at my texts mm. like that. I'm really a call type folks. My folks be mad as hell because I don't be never texting. Can you I shut just the door? be calling. Just I always call. And two, like damn, I don't know. I really just would have to see. I got a whole nother phone though now, so I can't even look back in the. No, nah, you good? We here now. I was just yeah, um, good. and I I probably had this conversation like this is probably like the third time this week. For but really? I'm different though. Like when I say. Not even different, like talking about bigging myself. It's just like I really, bro. You anybody DM you probably can look at. I really be grinding. Like I'm really like on that. You feel me? No, for sure. So like when when they ask me that I want to have you, I'm like hell yeah, because I'm like man, that's gonna be fun. You feel me? To no, even for sure, for sure. Do the intro like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. Like yeah, let me get down. Holla, yeah. bro. He yeah. he was sleeping. No, yeah. I'm back, but it's all good. I'm, I'm glad sure. to see you going. You got what you going. You. I'm glad to see you got so much good still going on. Appreciate um, that. Not too familiar, but even in a little bit of research I've done, right? The one thing that I, I keep hearing, and I know you got to be tired of talking about it, but we're going to talk about it for a little bit because I don't really know mm -hmm. the, this AE thing, mm -hmm. right? Um, I've seen uh, they had like a couple big hitters, but I didn't even know who AE was when I, I thought I had to Google because I'm like, wait, is um, Empire and what is the name of AE? What is the entire name? Authentic Empire. Authentic Empire. I'm like, wait, is this mm -hmm. the same thing? I didn't even know. Just to just to set the stage or whatever. So, um, a part of that just running around was it because you were signed to somebody like or like you were just moving different? Like they was handling everything. Like, um, with that it was like, um, when I came in with Authentic Empire, it was like through Boom Man. He was like, um. He wanted to get behind some records that I had had been okay. pushing already for a little minute, which was uh, hitting and eat. Mm -hmm. This before the uh, remixes and all that. Okay. So, you know, at the at the moment, um, he was about about to be about three years old. So yeah. I'm like, but you know, like, cause we already working on the next one, and yeah, it was kind of a mixture of like, yeah, like. You far as like moving around, you saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like a mixture. Things that we put together and some things that they put together and then so it's just how we's moving. And granted, I don't know, um and um damn bro, we gonna record all of this? Like come on, man. <laughs> I mean we talk to you might go <laughs> Like damn, like you gonna get the interview? It's all love, though. That's just my personality. Don't take it personal, bro. But um but no, nah, for real though, we ain't gonna get everything, but um <laughs> You see, I'm candid, like, bro. I'm just hey, being, man, you can't like, get the whole movie. Not the whole man. thing. God damn. Yeah, we might as well just take the interview with this. No. But, um, <laughs> but no, uh, so again, I, so because I'm not as familiar, I ain't going to ask you about like no names or nothing like that. I'm just curious of, uh, I, I wanted to ask you, what is the AE movement? You feel me? Like, what, like, what, like, because I never heard of it. Man. And again, without, we don't have to say no names or nothing like that. I'm just curious, like, what was it? I at, never that, at that time when I was with them, um, they was, uh, like a, with an independent label, mm. so that's what it was. You they had me? to have some motion. I didn't, bro. To be honest, I didn't even know about AE when mm. I came to them. It was like we had a meeting. Boom man reached out. Where it was like, Boom man want to holler at you. Woo, woo, woo. I'm like, I, I knew who Boom man was from way back in the day. Anyway, you feel me? That's but, some Atlanta. Like again, like, I'm uh, just... yeah. He Boom man was a um, artist. Like when I was in like high school, so okay. I knew him from then. I ain't know him on no personal type. Okay. But, that's how I was familiar with him. As far as the AE went, like, I ain't even know. I knew that uh, Euro Got It was with them, you feel me? And I knew that Fujiano, who had got signed to Gucci, was with them. Right. But I didn't really know too much about him. We just chopped it up and it went from there. Mm. Did that you help a lot as far as like the, the, the reckoning? Um, yeah, it helped a lot with the record for sure. It was like good and bad came mm. with it, you know what I'm saying? Why so, you say, what you mean, good and bad, I don't understand. Um, man, like, as far as like the good, the record, you know what I'm saying? We turned up with the record. Radio um, play, like that? Yeah, radio play. You know what I'm saying? They got behind me. You feel me? Mm -hmm. They got behind me, um, put good money behind me. The bad, they snaked me on the contract type. Okay, okay. So that's but where I mean, the bad came you should, Me playing devil's advocate, right? Just because, again, I don't know how deep it was. So, like, you could stop. We, you see how I am. So you could be, you could stop me at any time. Um, what I was gonna say is like I feel like that was your first record deal. Yeah. Right. I mean, I feel like you should. Yeah. Know, you know, that's the game though. And I took that shit on the chain. You feel me? Okay, I yeah. take the good with the bad. You feel me? And I even, learned a valuable lesson. But that ain't even what the part that pissed me off though about it though. Okay. It's the fact that like 
We sit down, me and you, man to man. Yeah, okay. We shake hand, we discuss this. Yeah. You look me in the eye, you tell me this this way. Yeah. And then when get right, like when I'm like, okay, bro, I done did what I'm supposed to do. What's up with that back end? And get funny. I can't respect that. Man. I would have just been like, me challenge cool. you. That's just who I am. It's still your fault. Cause you it, did you it's did you totally read the contract? It's totally my fault. It's totally okay, my fault. Respect. At least totally. You enough, Cause enough, I okay. signed that. Respect. I had a janky lawyer. Feel me, all that. But you live and you learn. You know what I'm saying? It's totally my fault, though. You can't be mad at me taking all accountability. Way. Like for real. Like it's just crazy because you hear these stories a lot, right? It's like nothing, nothing new in the industry. I can understand how you would like. Sometimes it's different because it just hit different when it's depending on the person who doing it with. If I don't know it, it's like just on that industry. But if I know it, it's definitely gonna hurt different. It's definitely gonna be like, damn, bro. Like we we had different conversations. Like we really was like friends, I guess. But um, sure. I definitely get that. That's that's out the window. But as far as the the deal, it's still like that's they the ones that introduce you. So it's still gotta be some love there still. Um so, gotta be. No, it ain't no love, bro, cuz. If you cross me over, bro. So if it's, you it's cross me over, bro. He, he just talking on a surface. Okay. Ooh. Okay, that's cool. That's it ain't cool. no okay. love, yeah. Okay, no. that's cool. I mean, yeah, yeah just no say love. yeah. I mean, that is deeper <laughs> than rap, man. <laughs> yeah. No, it, ain't no love. it definitely ain't no love. Like, Damn. For real, Did it, does that give you like a, a bigger chip on your shoulder now, though? Um, man, I, I always got a chip on my shoulder because I'm going for this all. Like I've really put my all into this. Shit. Like, and even how you say, like, yeah, they helped me get my foot in the door. But bro, I was going for a minute. They came to me for a reason. You feel me? Like out here, we were still working. We were still moving. It was growing organically, but it's a little slower when you got down independent and you ain't got nothing behind you for real. For I real. understand. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> but at the same time, like bro, it would have been love, but it's just not no love, bro, because you got to keep it solid with me all the way around. No, I'm bro. not gonna be like, yeah, bro, f with me. He helped me out, but he f me over. It's cool. No. Hey, Hell when no. I say I get you got to be solid all the way around, dog. I, Bro, it's either be solid all the way around, don't halfway with me. Like, don't, like, do me a favor, don't do me no favors, bro. Because, like, we don't handle business. We were just talking about that. Bro, I can tell you how real this is. I ain't going to say no names, but fuck it. Like, like, I'm independent. So sometimes I'll get a big interview, right? And it's like, that's cool and I'm appreciative, but it's like, yo, we ain't going to handle this like a regular interview. Like, don't, don't. Let's not do yeah, it, cause if I can't if, if I can't talk to you like I'm a, like like the big podcast can talk to you, then I just rather not do. It. I see you when I when I get my cloud up, if that's what the case. Cause it's like you, we have stepping now. Now it ain't even doing my platform no no justice. Like I'm good. Thank you, but no thank you. So I get, I get it. I get it. Trust. That's why I say, bro, you ain't got. I understand. For sure. Man time. For sure. For sure. But I gotta again. I still gotta. That gotta get make the for me. For me, it make the chip bigger. Cause it's like man. Keep playing with me, man. Everybody. Like, I'm going to show these. <laughs> like, it's my turn. Oh, yeah, you know, you know it's always on that time, bro, because, you know, doubt you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it been been like that. But, hey, we're going to show you, Jay, how we did. I ain't going to cap. I didn't believe in me mm -hmm. even then. That's why the only thing that I do respect from, bro, he rolled the dice with me because mm -hmm. I went. I sat with hella labels. I did a lot. Of but. Nobody was like willing to take that risk with me, mm. and he took that. So, I, and I salute him. It was love at first, but nah, I mean, yo, do you think um, you had a big hit, bro? You had a, you had a big hit. Do you? Let's talk about that for a second. Everybody always think it's like it's always a good thing when not necessarily. Like that could really be like a. It can fucking up if he don't come back like that. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like the? Do you feel the pressure of trying to chase that success again? Oh. Uh, be real I with say me. I could feel the pressure of, because, you know, with this game, it's like you make a hit, bro, you got to make another one. And you right. make that one, you got to make another one. That's just and crazy. that's just what it is. So to be 1,000, like, yeah, I feel the pressure. But at the same time, it's like, bro, I it, I think it's more about, like, what was behind that song versus, mm. like, what's a hit song and what's not. That song, I made that song in 2016, yeah. right? It's 2023. I'm going a hundred times harder than that. I promise you, I'm going a hundred times harder. I but believe. how can you match the energy sometimes with like, bro, I pushed that song for three years, mm. then did that, pushed it again all through that, you feel me, for another year and a half type. Shit. So it's like matching that. That's really kind of more what I'm trying to figure out like with it is like, 
how can I put that amount of effort, but mm-hmm. not in that amount of time? You no, know what I'm saying? You wanna, be, you're trying to like, I don't want to say skip some stuff, but like now we, in yeah, a way, skip, in yeah, a sense, skip stuff, yeah, because like we know like, better now. Like now we shouldn't have to do the same thing that we did before because we know a little bit. Or, or damn there, you can't even do because some of the shit is like, you not doing. Then, I, yeah. Facts. I, no, you know I'm with you. Like, I'd be like, it was times where like I used to, I used to host parties and like, I remember it's times where I uh, I drove to like like an hour and a half away for $50. But like it came with a different opportunity. But I'm never doing that yeah, now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, but I'm not going to lie. Me being human, I'd be like, man, damn, do I need to get back in my bag when I first started? Because that's what got me here. Maybe for if sure. I go back there to get me further. But it's like some shit is like you be certain, Like certain shit, I started getting paid, but that didn't stop me. I still do a free uh, show or something for, or some shit. Like, for some charity though, not on here. We ain't gonna say that. That's what I'm saying. We ain't promoting charity. that. Nah, <laughs> you gonna don't get this take back. it like that. <laughs> don't give me f- up, nah. I ain't saying I'll do some f- for free, but I'm saying I will do some f- for free for certain people. If it came you know down what I'm saying? To it, for because sure. for mutual for respect, red, maybe. And certain f- could benefit. For your man. Red, that's yeah, it. red on. Man. <laughs> feel me? That's the only time he you ain't gotta get me. F- red, what the word? We got it. What the plan? He's over there. My yeah. bad. I'm just kidding. I don't want to get you in trouble. You independent, bro. Facts. So you can't, you better talk your Facts, bro. <laughs> got to, but I just want to. I just say that though, to because I know some folks just be like, bro, I ain't doing for free, I ain't doing for free. Mm-hmm. But doing some certain things for free help me out, bro. Not That's fair. why I like to tell folks that don't get it confused. You gotta pay the fee, even mm-hmm. say the fee, no, but certain sh- you might want to do it, bro, because it could help you out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, are you are, are you looking to sign again? If it makes sense, mm. I'm not worried about signing again, um, but I'm open to it if it makes sense. You right. know what I'm saying? For damn sure, gonna have that lawyer front and center got down. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Anything, nice. really. But um, yeah, bro. Like I would if it makes sense for sure. Bro, I feel like even, even let's say on a good side, right? I was talking to Honcho, and he was like, um, if when he signed again, it gotta be under different conditions. And this, yeah. well, I don't even, from my knowledge, I don't even. He didn't even get f-ed over. He was just saying, like, you know, basically, like, he would have a few hits under his belt. Because, like, what happened is you get that hit, and somehow he's trying to, like, shelf you for real. You feel me? Like, it's like, or not even shelf you. It's like, you can't do what you want to do. Like, the other niggas can do what they want to do because they, mm-hmm. got, they got history under their belt. You right, feel me? Right, he was, he was just telling me, like, yo, if I, if I sign again, you know what I'm saying? It got to be under these certain conditions. I would do it differently if I would be smarter. I would have multiple hits now. So when I come in, I know I can... I can call certain shots. You got more leverage. Yeah, exactly. Yo, you feel yo, me? So facts, like, facts, facts, facts. You, facts. You, are you thinking that far down the line? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always, bro. I'm always thinking about the future of it. And, you know, that's always the goal to, like, build your leverage up because that's the only way you're going to get a deal that you mm. want in the first place. You know what I'm mm, saying? Facts. If you ain't got no leverage, you're not going to – bro, you got to take what you can get in order and make some shape. You know what I'm saying? So And sometimes niggas ain't giving you a lot of nothing. Yeah, but you got to know how to make it shake, though. Nah, facts. You know what I'm saying? You make it shake. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created The Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now, listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and we ain't in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now... You got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I see you there. Shit. How much, we was just talking about the interviews and shit. Um, how much of, I seen you talking about how like part of breaking the hit was like putting that money into radio, mm-hmm. right? How much of the radio had a, had to do with the success of the uh, the song hit? Um, with hitting the radio, like, okay, so it was going crazy on YouTube. It doing millions and streaming. It's doing millions. Um, the radio didn't probably come in to maybe I want to say like wait, about eight nine months. Yeah, like yeah. Like mm-hmm. I put like two hundred 
was ready, but we didn't get to that point till like where we knew it was like underground. Yeah, it was already okay. So going it was like the crazy. icing on the cake for real. Yeah, like yeah, that shit like yeah, the icing okay. on the cake like that shit made it go. Kyron, even we bigger. gotta get that wireless yeah. mic, man. We gotta get that shit. We gotta get that. But um, but yeah, cause they ain't gonna hear you. But um, <laughs> oh yeah, fact. But uh, no, nah, no. Nah, so basically, they were saying um, y'all ain't uh hit the hit get hitting on the radio until like. That shit was really going yeah, crazy for before real. it was like, yep. Damn. Yep. Are y'all prepared to do that now? That's a lot too, honey. Shit. Like, it oh got to be in the same bad, instance. <laughs> it got to be in the same instance, though. You feel me? You don't want to just take that shit and just put that shit on any song. Right. Like, it got to be on the one you know. Yeah, you feel right. me? So it could count right. So when the one, when we be like, oh, yeah, this the one need to be on there. Then yeah, but having drop that bag on. having the experience, right? I'm just wondering, like, do y'all have that put in a bank? I mean, that's not a for me. My, I mean, I don't know who I'm talking to. For me, that's a lot of money. But so yeah, I'm saying, yeah, like, yeah. is that something? Because you know better now. Is that something? Is that a number that you like, man? We gotta have this put aside just in case this shit do start hitting. Because we seen that, we know what it take. Man, shit, you always gotta have it like loaded up, put aside, but. I ain't gonna just say no specific number. Like, mm. I ain't on no, like, okay. well, I gotta have this on. You know, niggas still just, like, just pick and choose. Yeah, getting how you can get it, like, real, basically. Yeah, so, I'm just like, thinking, because you know it was 200, because that was the, y'all said it before. Like, you was like at least 100. Yeah, so it I'm was like 100 like, to 200 it in that range. Though, like, mm -hmm. 20. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't no one time thing, but yeah. Okay, that yeah. makes sense. That makes mm -hmm. sense. Dan, because, like, you, as as frustrating as it can be, right, given what happened, everything, it's still a blessing in disguise because, like, now you do know how to move, though. For sure. I learned a lot. That's why I say you take the good with the bad. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I learned a lot through that whole process, like, for sure. And it helped me become more knowledgeable and got down more uh, ready for what's to come. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I definitely look at all the shit differently. Like, from the last two years, it just changed my whole outlook really on this rap shit, for real, mm. for real. Because, shit, it just wasn't what I thought it was. You know what I'm saying? You got to right. get your feet wet to really know. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. Outside of um, the obvious, right, having a real lawyer, legitimate lawyer, what was the biggest lesson you think you learned? Um, I think the biggest lesson is uh, keep keep doing what – you doing that to get you there to that mm -hmm. point to where it start but, like when shit start getting to moving and shit well for me it kind of like had me thinking differently i i came up making music bro strictly off of like because i love to make music and it's fun you know what i'm saying like that that shit kind of had me on some more like trying to do it for i guess who what i think folks want to hear versus just like making the shit that i really like mm. and doing the shit i was already doing so i kind of switched up for a way like now i'm back on the shit that got me there but like mm. for a minute i kind of got lost in the saw i damn near didn't even know what i liked what i was making you feel me i tell my producers i'm like bro i don't even know they like bro what you want to drop i'm like bro i don't know because mm. i'm making all this music but i'm basing this shit off of other folks validation versus like fucking with what I really fuck with. So that's crazy. That kind of like, I say you just got to stay on that mode that gets you going. You know what I'm saying? Like, I definitely. So now it's like, I ain't switching up now. You feel so, me? But do you feel like it's crazy, right? It might sound crazy, but do you feel like you needed all of this to happen as a wake up call? Because like you said, you was, you was getting lost in the sauce at first. You was just making music that you thought the people wanted to hear. You like, you ain't even. You ain't, you kind of lost yourself for a second. Mm -hmm. You think you needed this? Oh uh, yeah, I yourself. think kinda, everything kinda. happened for a reason. You know, like I feel like God wouldn't have took me through it if it wasn't supposed to happen. You know what I'm saying? So mm. you gotta take. Ain't nothing never a loss. It's always a lesson. Mm -hmm. That's how I look at it. So it's a lesson for me to make me stronger and better. Facts. You know what I'm saying. I, um, I ask not everybody, but a lot of people. This man. Um, it's so many artists in the world who aren't as popular as everybody else, right? But they successful. They making sure. money, they feeding that family. And I'm always curious to know, like, if that's what it came to, right? I know we wanna be stars, but if that's what it came to, you just making money off the music, able to provide for your family, are you okay with that? Hell yeah, for yeah. sure. I ain't never really just cared to be the biggest, biggest superstar ass nigga. Like, mm. I really, 
bro, I just provide. Like, mm. that shit, uh, I'd be straight with that. Feel me? Like, Dang. I would be. It's I, about the money for me. That's so that admirable, bro. Me? It's so like, admirable because, like, I was talking to my friends back home, and I felt like, I, mean, I felt bad because it's like, bro, I pray for, like, literally, like, no, no bullshit. I pray for times like this to sit next to you, to sit next to the people I'm talking to. That shit, bro, I was a dream. Like, I'm from Baltimore. Like, niggas know that know me, they know. And I was telling my friends, bro, like, I'm not satisfied with this. Like, I'm not, like, I, like, I couldn't be just okay with making the money and being able to provide for my But my I family. respect that, too, because you know what you want. You feel me? It's different. Different shit for different people. Mm. You want that. You feel me? Like, I don't really care about fame, but mm. you can't be a rapper without fame. You feel me? As so sad it's as like, it is, right? As so sad that's as it how is. it is. For me with that, I just be like, shit, well, if I gotta, if that's what I gotta do, because mm. I want all the other shit that come with it, Facts. then so be it. That's how I kind of treat this. How shit. conflicting is that, right? Saying, because you don't care about the fame like that, but you know that's what comes with it. Yeah. Does that ever get frustrated even in the times where you might meet a nigga and you don't want to get a nigga your number? Do you feel like kind of obligated to those situations? Because like, man, this what comes with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, far as like that part, if I get damn, <laughs> yeah, but that's the liquor. Like, so you only yeah, that, that liquor, man. <laughs> but it's like far as that, it ain't so much about the giving a number. I really fuck with shit like that because if a person coming to me and saying they want to do something with me and they fucking with me, I like I love that. That's more of why I'm doing it. You feel mm. me? I want people to really fuck with what I got going on and support with what I got going on. It's just the it's really like the rap cap shit for me that I don't really be fucking with. You feel me? Like all that extra shit you just gotta do, all that gimmick shit and all mm. that shit, I'm not fucking with that shit. Like, mm. so it's trying to, I'm trying to balance that, you know what I'm saying? Cause you gotta play the game at the same time, you feel me? Like you gotta play the game if you wanna be successful in the shit. Mm. So it's like, I'm I'm still trying to balance it. You nah, know it's saying? crazy, I, I, I love hearing like testimonies like that cause like, at the end of the day, like you might think you independent now and shit changed, but I still look at you like, bro, you you did what a, so many artists couldn't do. You made a hit song for sure. You 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 got over that hump. You got over that hurdle for sure. You I was me? praying, Jay. How you say? I was praying for that. You feel me? You like, feel me? Still praying. Keep going and nope. be blessed and be free and healthy and do this shit. No you know cap, man. It's gonna come. It's just like I was just wondering because like a lot of times people don't like that. And a lot of times people try to go away from it, like we said, playing a game. But it's like you can't change the game. You just gotta buy it by the rules that's in it. You feel me? No cap. Like, <laughs> and that might be the most frustrating part about it. For sure. That's, For sure. That like, shit is crazy. It bro. is, bro. Like you ain't told no lie. Like, Yo, how, how was it? Um, like how was like how was the shit treating you now that you're independent? Do you see the difference in like you having a hit? And the energy around you and how people quick to answer the phone, how people respond mm -hmm. to you. So like now that you quiet, they, they, they don't see it, they don't see it how they used to see it, because you're still working. So I definitely want to give you that respect. But we know it's a difference. Like we can't act like it's not a difference. Do you see the difference in how energy and people that people give you? Um, yeah, of course. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But that just come with the shit. As soon as shit go back up, folk back on your dick. That's what it is. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I don't take it personal, bro. You don't take it personal? No. Damn. I don't take nothing with I'm going to tell you, bro. No cap. I had read this book called The Four Agreements. Ooh. And one of them shits was don't take nothing personal. And that, like, I use that, bro, through all the. I read that shit before, like, how I told you I was pushing the shit for three years and yeah, all. Yeah. I read that before then. Mm. Bro, I took that shit and I applied it to myself. I used to be the type nigga. But DJ don't play my song in the club, I'm mad as fuck. Mm -hmm. I won't smoke damn near type <laughs> shit. You feel me? Like, I really used to do that. That's I had me. to think. I had I to tell care. myself in the mirror, like, bro, it's a million niggas coming up to this nigga. Like, what's going to make you different? Well, nice. I had to change my mindset about it. You feel me? Like, nice. hell, some of that shit I was trying to make a play wasn't even him. I just thought it was him. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even that. You know what I'm saying? So when I changed my mindset about that, like taking shit personal, bro, mm. I got a lot more results. Mm. So I just be like, fuck that personal shit, bro. Because nah, it's a business, bro. But business do be personal. It do be. But you at said, the same time, me. at the same time, though, <laughs> it's like, man, this shit like a finesse, bro. It is. Nah, it's it a is. finesse, bro. So it's like, 
you can't just be to the point where your emotions is dictating. Because when you act off them emotions, bro, you might do anything. And That's it's not really going to get you the results That's that you fact. really want. At That's the end of the day, what you want to be successful in the do. It's so many folks right now, bro, I shake their hands and they bought my brother. What's up, nigga? Mm. I remember, nigga, you shitted on me. Mm. I remember you did not fuck with me. I came to you, bro. I tried to get you on it. But it's cool. You, you went stunned. <laughs> But it's cool. It's cool, cause look at now. Look at it now. When I call you, you pick up and you you gonna fuck with me and I fuck with you. It's cool, but I remember. Uh, facts. I remember. No kidding. But you know what I'm saying? But not taking it personal helped so, me get through that. Now nah, you're right. So for me, so no. Nah. Are we? So where does the chip come from? Where does the motive where, where do you find motivation? Where do you find the 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 hunger, the 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 the, the grind is still like, man, you gotta find some motivation somewhere. You feel me? Man, for real, for real. The motivation first started for me was like, really the folks who was around me, my mm. brother and my my gang, my folks, like they kinda, bro, I was one foot in, one foot out with the rap shit. I wasn't really taking it serious at first. I was just going to the studio, hey, everybody do just rapping cause I fuck with the rapping, but my people was just saying like, bro, you really hard. Your shit really can go, but you bullshitting. Mm. And that kinda pissed me off more than, that slit made me wanna rap more than me just want to rap. Thanks. My partner's telling me, y'all, but one time I'm in the spot, there's no lie. One time I'm in the spot, everybody in the spot just was like, nigga, you some bullshit. You keep talking about you on this rap shit, but you ain't doing Thanks. none of that rap shit. And I was so mad, but I just walked out the spot. I was so mad. I went home and shit, but after that, I went straight home, bro. I, I got my Ass capping my goddamn my tune got core back right. then yeah. and my yeah my um sound exchange uh -huh. and all that shit I got all my shit right and just I started like man I need to stop bullshitting it was kind of more like that and the chip now of course it's just like cause I done touched that shit mm. so it's kind of got me geeked already now it's just like I want that shit now Facts. cause I done touched it you know Facts. what I'm saying so I was saying like for me I think um. I was talking to the dude Light Show. I don't know. He's from DC. Dope artist, right? Mm -hmm. And we was just saying, like, sometimes it, you change your mindset, you change your life, right? So, like, sometimes when people think about taking, taking it personal, they think about, like, acting on emotions, right? Because you think of emotions, you think of, like, everything that comes with it. For me, and I think a lot of people get it misconstrued because I don't really talk too much about it, but for me, I understand how acting on the emotions isn't a good thing, Yeah. right? So when I say I take everything personal, it's not that I'm taking it personal and I'm acting on the emotions because, again, that's going to defeat the purpose. We're going to go backwards. We're trying to go be successful. And then when you act off emotions, only negative shit going to happen. Fact. You know what I'm saying? I use that, when I say I take it personal, as motivation. For sure. So that's my chip. For sure. So it might it might sound like or might look like, oh, this nigga bitter. Nah, it's really, that's just me keeping myself motivated. Oh, niggas, play with me. I'm going to show you. I ain't right. about to be like, fuck you, bitch. You ain't play my song in a club. It's like, Cool. This nigga ain't playing my song in the club. Let me look at me. My shit might not be hitting. All right, bet. Let me go make a let me make a hotter song. Let me make For a sure. better song. For sure. Okay, cool. You still ain't rocking my shit? Fuck you, bitch. But let me go back. It, it ain't like I'm going to go to the nigga. For like, sure. You know what I'm saying? For but sure. that's definitely my. That's, that's the same way with me, too, though. I feel you on that, like, though. Fuck, like, oh, y'all niggas don't know? I'm going to give you a reason. So we, you going to have to play that Thanks. motherfucker, like, nah, for no sure. Cap, no cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you on that. Now, you got the um you got a project coming uh, June. Yep, June that believe two dropping, um, real bangers, man. I, uh, we been really working on the sound. Like mostly the whole project, bro, is produced by all still paid producers. That's mm. you feel me, us, my fuck, the family, the label. You know what I'm saying? And um, we just been creating this own sound, bro. Like nobody else has this sound. This is my sound, our sound. And um, I'm real excited about it, bro. A lot of bangers. It's gonna be an A side and a B side. So I'm gonna come right back. With mm -hmm. the B side, and it's gonna be a whole bunch of diff mo tracks on that one. So, like, definitely, it's gonna be hard. I want to talk to you about some more music shit real quick for a second, right? I want to talk to you like if you was underground for a second. You had a hit song, right? It got you fans, but of course, shit dies down. Mm. How much do do you still see the fans? I'm I'm just curious because I got a friend that make music, and he like does the promotion thing. He be like, yo, that shit is helping out tremendously. But I'm wondering, from your hit song, how was the conversion rate? Like, how was the people that still stuck around, that still like, yo, we want to hear the music? Like, are you able to see that? Are you able to notice that you, you're still yeah, your yeah, real yeah. fans? No, for sure. But, you know, it's a different from, like, them real supporters and them fans, too. You know what I'm saying? But, mm. like, yeah, definitely. Because that was, like, 
what got my foot in the door. So then you got people who didn't know nothing of me. Mm. They get to check me out, listen. And um, yeah, it's How many like, people stuck around? You think? Like, cause y'all, do y'all know shit. the conversion rate maybe? No, not an yeah, exact I don't number, know how but like number, but a ballpark. His streams is still, he's still doing over a million streams. Yeah, mm. so. Still growing on YouTube. Damn. His audience still there. They wait for sure. to keep dropping. That's yeah. how, so how, how many do you know? You don't have to say exact number. Of course, we don't need to know too much. But before you drop, like before it became, it went crazy. What was like a ballpark number of? Before? Yeah. Oh, before shit. But that shit changed tremendously after that. I say that like so before it was kind of just more like hell I went only people probably was listening to me for real for real was here before that but was it like 10,000 streams like a thousand like how, probably like a hundred two hundred three hundred thousand streams okay maybe. Uh, okay you know that's not saying? bad that's like, I mean yeah. that's still good though yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. not for sure but you know compared to 100 million streams nah, facts. you know what I'm saying so so you said we still doing a million but when it was like hot hot it was like a hundred million Mm-hmm. Damn. Mm-hmm. That, record, that record went top 10 on radio, so it's like. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. You won. Still, yeah. Yeah, I'm about to say, you yeah, won. Bro, you I'm won. still getting booked to this day off of that think song. Think about you bro, get 100 million just to, just to average a million. That's not bad. Like, you get. Yeah. Nah, for sure. And then if you do another hit, it's still gonna go back up and you exactly. might. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I mean. The good with the bad. Like, that's that's yeah. fire. Like, nigga didn't do it for no reason, now. Nah. You feel me? I nah, knew facts. at the same time. I already knew Slit what I was getting into anyway. Mm. You feel me? Because how you say, you like, bro, I ain't know nothing about him. I didn't know nothing about the label, but I knew something about the CEO already. You mm. feel me? So I kind of knew what I was getting into already, you know what I'm saying? But I knew that as long as they did what they said they was going to do, I knew that shit was going to do that. That's hard. You know me being saying? from out of town, now I'm just curious now. I'm just fucking curious. I'm being from out of town. I don't think Atlanta is lit. Like, you feel me? Do do you think that being Atlanta, being in Atlanta played a major part of your success of even shit? Absolutely, absolutely. Mm. Like I, bro, I still think Atlanta is the number one city to be with this shit. Like I mean, now it is right easy. now. Like yeah, easy. facts. Like easy. And it's like hell yeah. Folks always ask me like, you want to go somewhere? No, mm. I'm I'm still here. I don't want to move. I don't want to leave. You don't have to. None of that shit, bro. <laughs> this is. For what I'm on, this is the place to be. You know what I'm saying? It definitely played a major part in that shit. Like all the way. Now, hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, I fuck with you, dog. I uh, everybody always just throw that energy shit loosely, like. But now, like, I really feel like you definitely a genuine dude, and I'm gonna keep it hundred with you. Like, too much so is like, man, I pray for niggas like you. I'm gonna tell you why. I feel like the humble, genuine nigga never win. It's a treacherous game. Yeah, like I feel like like that's some bullshit. I'm gonna keep it hundred, but I feel like sometimes with me, I'll be like, bro, I gotta step my arrogance up, cause like it's like, do you ever feel like being humble, like being too humble, hurt you at almost? Um, uh, yeah, yeah. That why that's I say, some bullshit, like, right? That's why I say <laughs> like bullshit. how I was saying like that rap shit, like okay, fact. You feel me? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, it's like you yeah, gotta yeah, niggas yeah. want you to just I don't know what the niggas want you to do, bro. Yeah. Like. For real, like, the person I am, bro, tr- deep down, fuck the rap shit. Just me, who mm-hmm. I am, I don't really care about all that shit. Like, but on some rap shit, you got to maneuver a certain way and you got to pop that shit a certain way. Like, yeah. it, it mean, might come off as arrogance. You got might, to. You know what I'm saying? You but to. you got to stand on that shit and, you know what I'm saying? So, nah, yeah, you got to go big. But that's why I say sometimes I got to, I gotta, uh... Dress my my sayings up because it sound crazy. Like I pray for niggas like you, but nah, it's just like it's just like you so cool. It's like man, them niggas is that's like the game never play fair for niggas like us. It don't, but it don't even matter because it's still niggas like us who gonna get what they deserve. You just gotta keep going hard about that shit. Facts. And I truly believe that everybody who's up with this shit and on and got they ain't all on that same shit. It's different shit. Different um vibes. No, People, the shit's so big now, you know what I'm saying? The rap game, it's like all kind of people could get in. No, you ain't got to be just a certain type of way no more. Mm. It kind of was at first. Everybody got to follow this certain script. You feel me? But now it's like, it's so wide open, bro. It's like, shit, you could do you and get in there. You just got to be consistent and persistent. Nah, that shit. Per- you got to put the work in. That shit, the hard For work sure. going to be anything. 
every yeah. single time. Oh God. Anything, talent, whatever you want to call it, nigga. Yeah, fake work. shit, it's gonna be everything. For sure. Nah, man. Yeah, look, I just told y'all off offline. They call me uh, what they say like, <laughs> Mister Hold On to shit. But nah, you dropped. Oh, uh, you holding them grudges? No, no, not me. Not even that. Like, like <laughs> I got so many fucking interviews and shit. But you dropped on the fourth mm. of uh, May. So the fifth. That's yeah, yeah, single them out. Yeah, you, you mm -hmm. drop more on the fifth, or maybe we gotta say the dates because we don't know. But I'm gonna try to get this out soon. I probably do this. Probably we gonna skip some people because I fuck, I fuck with that. Like I fuck with Enzy for real. Like I appreciate fuck with, that, bro. I fuck with, with you know, too, bro. Like, real so your ass ain't you getting straight to it? Yeah, <laughs> no, nah, I don't. Even, I don't even have to like. I don't have to say this. Like I ain't scared of these <laughs> niggas. I tell niggas like all the time. Like, I don't say it just because you're in front of me. But now nah, I'm gonna um we try to drop this soon just because you get some type of extra momentum behind the, the single. What's the, what's the single? The single, Doing It, produced by Rubber Band Red, you feel me? Um, featuring my dog, Trap Baby Magic. Real hard, you feel me? Real hard. Yep. Mm, nah, so. I fuck with it, bro. We gonna um, definitely try to get this out soon. Um, Did we miss anything? Was there any missed opportunities and shit? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With Venice, Vin I'm working with Venice right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to my dog Troy Carter, Red Push. You mm. know what I'm saying? Distribution. Um, yeah. How does that good shit company. Dis distribution shit? Like it just. Um, you know, like okay. <coughs> so if you are artist and you dropping your shit through a tune core or a, a distro kid, and I, that's your di who's distributing the music to the stores, your Apple Music, your Spotify, your all that shit. Mm -hmm. So with that, it's like. I fuck with Venice because versus me using a um one of those type of uh distributors, type of I actually <laughs> can. They actually is hands on with me. I talk to them on the phone. They move. Um, what you think about doing this with this um song and how you want to market it this way versus like when I was using a TuneCore or a Distro Kid, you can't talk to nobody on the phone. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. If we, get, if we get two person, you can stop me at any time. I'm just curious because I don't know. Um, so when, because for me, it sounds like some shit you got you should pay for, but because it's like a deal, well, do they, they take do. Like a percentage you, out of it. Like how does you do? Um, yeah, for sure. Like they get a percentage to okay. distribute your shit, and that's any distributor you use. Oh, but they only take yeah. on niggas that they are confident that's going to do some good shit. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Company. I know Empire, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a distro company, yeah, you feel me? So mark and market projects and go in business with you for a percentage of their stream. And you can remain independent on that. You, you feel me? Thing. Yeah. Keep your own your shit and actually get your back in and shit. You okay. feel me? Versus going to them majors and getting in them three sixties and shit. Mm. You get that money up front. But you're you not going to see that yeah, back in. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. This, I ain't knocking that because sometimes, bro, you got to do what you got to yeah, do. Especially nigga when you don't got nothing. Shit, you got to take it. You nigga want to give you that bag. You like, nah, nigga, come on with it. And nah, then, but, yeah, though, for sure. Nah, I fuck with it, bro. I appreciate it for the niggas that don't know. Tell them how to follow you and all that good shit, man. Yeah, man. Follow me at Still Pay Moose, Still Pay MU on all platforms. You feel me? For nah, sure. this shit was good, man. I, I enjoyed this. This is really good, man. I appreciate for you sure. pulling up. I'm glad we was able to have a conversation. Hopefully, I tell niggas this all the time, man. Hopefully, you're going to be the next big Jay-Z out this motherfucker so I can no, come back sure. and interview you so you don't forget about me. You feel me? Yeah, no. I'm going to so, definitely pull back, <laughs> bro. Oh, God. Can't nah, wait. Man, <laughs> nah, this is good, man. Can't wait. J-Hill. J-Hill Podcast Money Move. This shit was fire, man. It don't get no better than this, man. Like I said, audio. We out. It's a wrap.